This video is about the process I went through on fixing a Dell laptop XPS 12. When I powered it on, it would only uh, beep and no, no screen, nothing, just a beep. So I went searching, found the, uh, the Dell beep codes and read through, through this page and then come over here to the XPS. And so the beep code that uh, it was reporting was that there's a problem with the BIOS corruption or ROM problem. So I took, I took the uh, back of the laptop off. There's, there's um, one screw there and then screws all around the edge. You just take the back off it. And then I unplugged the battery and took the battery out. There's several screws for that. And unplug this. This is the battery back up for the real time clock so that there's no power to this board at all. And I found the, the BIOS chip here, which let me zoom in there. <clears throat> so there's the BIOS chip. I applied uh, some flux paste, used the hot air gun to remove that chip. And what I found then was I had this chip here. A C C P on. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but anyway, that this is a photo of, of the chip that I removed from the motherboard. So then I went searching for that chip. I found it on eBay, and this one has never been programmed, uh, so, but it's still you know six bucks. That's pretty cheap. So then the question is, well, how do I program it, and how do I get the firmware? So I found. Um, this, this programmer, this TL8662 plus programmer, which I decided to go ahead and get because I can use it for other projects. And uh, if I can still repair a laptop, get it working again, it's still cheaper than buying a new one. So I went with this one because it has an adapter uh, there in the middle right, which you put in to the, to the programmer and you, you put your your um, chip in that adapter and then in the programmer so that you can read it or write, write the chip. So th then the question was, well, how do I get the firmware? So back on the Dell page for the support, the drivers and download, uh, you expand the find drivers and there's the uh, drivers that you can download. Now, uh, I'm going to download an older version of the BIOS, um, which I'll explain later. And so you would go here and so you come here and down, download the file, which I've already done. And then what, what, that, what you end up with then is um, this file here. So this is the executable. And I tried running this, but this is supposed to be run on the, on the system itself that's doing the BIOS update. So, so that failed. You don't actually want to run it. And so then the question is, well, how do I extract the uh, firmware out of this? And it doesn't have some of the options that the other BIOS have with uh, some, some flags that you can run in the, in the DOS prompt, like uh, write, read ROM, write ROM, something like that. But this one doesn't have, have those options. So how do I get, get the BIOS out of here that I need to, to um, program on the chip? Well, since I wasn't sure at the time, I went ahead and ended up ordering a a chip that came already programmed so this was a little bit more expensive to have it already programmed but that's the one i decided to go with and this is from bios depot and i soldered this chip on on the board and, and it does work but i wanted to so uh, so before i soldered it on the board i put this in the programmer read off uh the the bios the firmware that was been flashed onto this chip and that's where um, this file here is. So that's that's from the, the programmer. That, and this is actually the version eight of the, the Dell firmware. So that's, that's why I downloaded the older version. So now the question is, I wanna find, how do I extract this? How do I get this file out of here? And I started by just trying to extract this using 7-zip and it does extract and creates a folder. There's some warnings and all, but, but it did extract and gave me these files. So now I wanted to figure out, well, I still don't know how to get the, the firmware out of there. And so back, back to some more web searches and I found an article here that kind of dives into the, the bios but 
there's this uh, Python program here, which um, it is what I needed to extract, and that was a reference. This is comes from another reference, which is here that goes into it, and there's that same program. So I started with this, and I modified it um, just a little bit, which I've got a, I have available on on GitLab. Um, so now I'm in uh, WSL Windows, Windows uh, Services for Linux, and I, and now I have the folder from the seven zip that this uh, came from this file. So and here's here's the modified Python file that that I've um, made some tweaks to. So if I go into that folder and look at the contents, it's actually this bin file that we're interested in. And if I do a binary edit vi of this um, file, we can see here that the MZ, so that's the indication that it's a DOS binary. But there are sections in here. Um, let's see, I, I flash. And so there are different sections labeled, and they're, they start with that I flash label. And so the section that we're interested in is this uh, BIOS image over here. And so this is the contents, and it actually starts here. So now, now we have that, and we can run the splitter. And I'm going to run the splitter um, on this file, so my, my zap option. And here's where it, it shows me, so this is the things that I added, which is to show me uh, the offsets from that file that, that was dumping into these files and how many, how many bytes that it read. And it put this in, in um, if I look now, there's, there's now a, a new directory. So I put all, all these files in this directory. And then if I and do the MD5, and we see that the, um, the, the, it has the same contents from, from the um, flash that I read out of that executable out of that bin file as the one that was read off the chip that I bought off of eBay. So that's, so that shows me that we have, have the right contents. The, um, my, my changes, so here's the, uh, my GitLab page, uh, the splitter file. Um, it's a little different, but here's the sections that we, the magic sections that we want to read. Um, the, the one thing I found that was reading a little bit too long was like, it's probably, uh, word aligned, and so I just had to um, do, leave off the last last eight bytes is what it amounted to, and then it was a perfect, perfect match. And we could also do a, a diff and see that, that there's no difference as well, which, of course, the MD5 song shows you as well. But, but this was useful when I did a color diff, and I use um, this here to see what what was different when it was when it was not quite working right, and so I would do a hex dump of the BIOS, the known BIOS, good BIOS, and with a hex dump, do a, a diff on that with the BIOS that, that I was reading off off of that. So anyway, that's uh, the the laptop is now back up and running. I had to update some, uh, reset some of the BIOS settings when, once it was started, and update you know the the time and. Uh, tell it where the hard drive was, things like that, but just normal BIOS, but uh, the laptop is up and running again. So it ended up being a successful project. Hope that helps. Uh, catch you next time.